Welcome, everybody. It is Tuesday, July 3rd, 2012. Welcome to our first show of July. I'm Michael Eckford. And I'm Fiona Forbes, and it's still raining. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're totally fine with that, by the way. Okay, it's supposed to get sunny for the next, uh, well, infinity, Forever. really. Yeah, We've decided summertime. that global warming is going to uh, finally kick in here in Vancouver. We're going to see the sun forever, right? Yes. Well, maybe not, but there will be a full moon tonight. So look out because everybody's going to go cuckoo. Bring on the theories, witchy woman. It's not my fault. No, but you just, you <laughs> like, oh, the full moon and nothing feels right. Oh, and then right. off camera, he'll say to me, you know, I never really believed in the full moon until you told me all the time. That is not true. I said that once and then I realized that I was you being said an it idiot once. and I stopped. You know what else is causing so problems right it. now? You what know what is else? That? The liquor stores are that going on strike in BC. That is the root of all the problems. So a full moon and the liquor stores, uh, well, they might be running out of liquor, but then there's off sales and stuff like that. But what's happening is the liquor distribution, uh, the three main liquor distribution centers are being shut down. And I believe they actually feed the beer and wine stores Where as well. Where are we going to get our beers, Where eh? is he going to get your beers? It's summer and it's about to get hot. So I... I'm stockpiling beer, and I will be you selling it out of the back well. of my van and perhaps a little pouch on Wreck Beach. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know those people that walk got, around and they... <laughs> you got a little pouch on Wreck Beach? <laughs> <laughs> At least you said it. <laughs> Not wow. enough for a six-pack. And the full but... moon doesn't affect you, does it? No, no, no. You're going to hang out on how Wreck was, Beach uh, with a little pouch. How was the long weekend, man? The long weekend was uh, long and weekendy, and there was a sunny part, which was fantastic. You know, my weekend was great, aside from the fact that I had to go to IKEA four times. That Ooh. sucked. Uh, a long weekend. Well, you know, and the IKEA people were making fun of me, but I'm like, well, if I don't go now, I'm not going to get the stuff. I gotta get the stuff. They keep selling out of it. <laughs> well, I have a little pouch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went out for dinner with the girlies on Saturday night. I uh, got a little picture of them. Here they are. Uh, Mary Zilba, she performed here her single uh, yeah, was last nice. week on the show, and that's Rayco McKenzie from Real Housewives. Her single came out on iTunes, and she was having a celebration for it. Everybody's a musician. I know, I need a single. I think I wanna see Ronnie do a single. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right. Make it rain. Let's do fun. that. And also, uh, it's tough having my little dog Chewbacca in the rain. Uh, when it was sunny, we went to the park, and I'm I'm a nerd, which is why my dog is named Chewbacca. But then he was playing with this dog, and the lady goes, "R two D two? No, uh. Lando Calrissian." <laughs> And Come on. I had that this, was the dog's name? Yeah. And I go, is your dog's name Lando? And she goes, yeah. yeah. She goes, Lando Kelrissi. And I'm like, this is Chewbacca. Chewbacca should have attacked Lando. He did. For what he did to Han. He did. Or Han. <laughs> 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 but my nerd inside, and you know what? Here's a picture of Chewie just because I take a lot of photos of him and I think he's really cute. That is pretty uh, cute. He won the fight against the lion. It was a first. Usually the lion wins. And then this morning, uh, my dog is really lazy. A lot of people, I, like I thought when I got a dog, I'd have to get out of bed. You show really... more purchases of your dog than I do of my kids. I know. He's cute. His name's Chewbacca. My children You can ugly. show pictures of your children. <laughs> you don't like to. No, that's true. I like to show pictures of Plus, my dog. Plus, because they're so hideous. <laughs> Michael, don't say that. Uh, but my dog hates the rain like a lot of dogs. But this morning in particular, I got up at 6.30. This is a photo of where my dog was. I had to look for him and find him because he hid on me because he knew he had to go outside. Here is the saddest dog in the world. Oh. <laughs> He's nestling in your pillows. <laughs> like most people want to be. As, as it were. Uh, no, but I couldn't find him. And I actually was starting to get worried. I'm like, did he get out? Where is he? Can we look at it again? Because it's so cute. Isn't that cute? Yes. That is, that cute. is really cute. Okay. You got a lot of pillows, man. I've got One, big pillows. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's a lot of pillows. I have a your lot pillows of pillows. are deep and bountiful. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Let's see. How's your tiny pouch? Okay, uh, I was up in the interior this weekend, which was absolutely lovely. I was in Salmon Arm, British Columbia, uh, for my wife's family reunion on her mom's side. But the highlight of the whole weekend, I haven't done this in years, my kids had never been on water slides. You're kidding. No, we went I on water slides this them. weekend. They were so awesome. I actually got uh, reprimanded a couple times from the lifeguards because I did that. I, I lay down on a couple that were too fast. You weren't You're allowed not supposed to lay, to lie down. down. Well, on some of them you Since can lie down. Make rules? But, but some of them are so crazy that you can't were they lie crazy? down because you keep going too fast. No, they weren't crazy, but they were. They were really that was fun. my favorite. The Blaine water slides out of yeah. Blaine. That's where I was used to go. As I haven't done kid. it in years and years. But if you want to recapture your childhood, uh, go to a, go to water slides somewhere. 
done. Wherever they but are. But Mike's lying. Here's the, I've got breaking news. I happen to have a video of what he was doing with his children this weekend. Here is a video of Mike and his family. Oh, oh that's awesome! <laughs> I was the best. <laughs> it's Will Ferrell. Cannonball! Oh, that's so good. I know. So anyway, that's Mike and his kids. That and that's why he doesn't really like to show his water. children. I wow. How much to drink a cup of that water? Oh, Just yeah. A cup. No, that would, you may end your life. In <laughs> I love those Whoa. monkeys. Wow, I could watch that all day. That's really fun. I like that. Now, we have to talk about something fairly serious right now because we have a friend in common. Uh, you, uh, you've you known him, him you since you were a little yeah. kid. I went to high school with him as well, and his family is facing a health crisis right yes. now, especially his wife. His wife, his name's Harley, and he's putting a plea, an urgent plea, out to everyone because his lovely wife, Erica, was diagnosed with cancer, and she is in desperate need of a bone marrow donor. Now, a lot of people may not know that you can sign up online super simple at one match to be a bone marrow donor. Now, you might not be the right donor for Erica, but you could save somebody's life. All you have to do, it takes two minutes yeah, to sign up. Uh, blood.ca is where you go look for one match and it doesn't matter what blood type you are there's yep. millions of people that are looking for help and you could save a life they just you send you a little you sign up see I we've talked about this before and I always think I'm gonna get around to do it I did it this morning extremely simple and they send you a swab in the mail you swab the inside of your cheek you send it back to them and boom they have your uh, genetic profile they can tell whether you're close to being a match the process is very simple and you can save someone's life it's and amazing. a lot of people think that uh, donating bone marrow is extremely painful it used to be in the past it if you just go on the website it talks about the process it's super duper simple and they give you a lollipop and I know, but go to blood.ca because uh, you could save a life. Erica has two young kids, five and two years old, who she yes. wants to get home to. She's in the hospital waiting for a donor right now. And, of course, we send their, our, our love out to them as well and, uh, and hope that Erica gets better very soon. We are going to check in with Rock 101 with Elise, find out what's going on there. Elise? Hey guys, well, it's finally here, and I know Eki is very excited. It's the week of the Bro Jake Open. This Thursday at Redwoods Golf Course in Langley, we will be teeing off for a day of debauchery. That's pretty much the only way I can put it. It's girls, drinks, green jackets, and a day of fun. And finally, the sun is coming out, so it's going to be an awesome day. Check out all the details at rock101.com because you might be able to slip another twosome in there if you're lucky. Now, you might think that there's only stuff there for the fellas being the picture, but the thing is, Mike will be at one of the holes wearing nothing but a green jacket and Just black socks. Just reaching down to grab my ball. There you go. Go to Rock 101 to find out more. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return...